Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cheryl and welcome back to another vlog. You may not be able to tell from it under all of the stress but honey I am excited because in the next two weeks I'm going to complete my final four assignments of this degree and we can finally be done with it. I can finally like sleep peacefully at night. So if you guys don't know I am a final year computer science student at the University of Sussex so welcome to the channel if you don't know that. And so the four assignments I have left. So I have my dissertation for my final year project that is due on the 11th. I have my last exam, hopefully ever in life, for my module called Limits of Computation. On the 20th, I have my report due for technology enhanced learning environments and then on the 21st i have my final year project presentation so guys in exactly two weeks i'm going to be done with this degree great so there's a lot of stuff to do on my to-do list i always make to-do lists it just helps me keep organized today what we're gonna do is i'm gonna work on my dissertation i just need to do some final testing to make sure that the software is working like how i want it to then i also have to study for my exam and then i'm also hosting why does this keep happening? I'm also hosting an RLC event if you guys don't know once again I'm a res life connector at the University of Sussex so I planned and I'm hosting my own event it's a spa night so hopefully I can de-stress but because of this it means I have to be done with my work by five o'clock which is why I woke up at nine o'clock today and right now it's 11 30 because I forgot to vlog but it's fine I've been working on my report I have my first cup of coffee yes this is only the first one so i thought i would just explain to you guys exactly what i'm doing in case you don't know so like in your third year in the uk you do a dissertation so it's like ten thousand to twelve thousand words so yeah i'll show you guys someone else's example because i don't want to show mine basically you just write a whole report just explaining whatever your project was so that's basically what i'm doing so i have a couple of sections that i just need to go through and touch up since this is due in four days. Okay, so it is two hours later. It was 1.30, I think. Now's a good time to break for another cup of coffee. I know. Guys, I have the issues, okay? I'm at 15,000 words. And that's excluding the appendix. Obviously, the appendix doesn't count, but like, I literally talk so much. That's why I have a YouTube channel, because I like talking. I'm gonna have a really fun next few days editing this. But anyway, let me go and get my coffee. I'm back with my cup of coffee, just in case anybody cares. So in the morning, I have like straight black coffee, no sugar, nothing, no milk, just like straight up so I can wake up. And then my second cup of coffee in the day is a cappuccino. It's a Nescafe cappuccino, and it's so nice nice okay anyway so testing is complete what i need to do now is like my professional considerations and stuff so because my project includes user testing i just have to like basically write a thing that says that i was ethical when i was conducting my studies and all that stuff and i've been procrastinating on it but i feel like i should just do it gonna study for my exam it's just like one more lecture i need to look through so this is my limits of computation course please do not ask me what this course is about i'm just gonna go through these notes learn about dna computing can you hear how enthusiastic i am <laughs> Okay, so 
we actually accomplished a lot today it's only 4 30 and usually i would keep going until like 7 o'clock 7 30 but because today is a friday and i do have an event at five o'clock i'm just going to cut the day here i just thought i would give some quick fire study tips while i'm here so everyone knows i live by these pens i literally have been using them probably since like grade five so <laughs> a healthy decade obviously not the set i think i've gone through a couple of sets but i absolutely love these i don't know how to pronounce the name of this company but i will probably try and link it down below so hopefully you caught that but yeah it's like 10 different colored pens another tip which is basically not studying harder but studying what not studying harder studying smarter okay basically what i did is i went through each of the exams for this particular module and i just looked for similarities in the questions what questions are typically asked and so yeah i basically went through the past papers that i had found the questions that are asked the most and so that's how i'm studying you start with like the most likely things to be in the exam and then you work your way down unfortunately for me i don't have a lot of time to invest into this module because dissertation so this is what i've done also i have these like post-it notes that are just helping me remember which section is where i got mine from typo everybody knows i live by typo yeah so that is the plug oh my gosh i got these highlighters as well from typo i love them like literally i don't know what i would do without typo like i would not study like typo makes everything so cute all my books are from typo as usual here's a london one here's my mom's favorite this is tlc this one's my favorite friends oh i love this one i've been using typo as like my school books literally since day one it fits that is just just like my quick little roundup of stationery and study tips so yeah i think i'll catch you guys tomorrow hey guys so it is saturday it is currently 2 p.m i have been awake longer than this i was doing some rlc related work in case anybody was interested last night's event was really fun for me i don't know how everybody else felt about it but i like did a nice little like diy avocado mask and my face like feels so smooth it was amazing if anybody wants to see me do like a pampering night video like masks and stretching or lighting candles i don't know if you guys want to see me do like a pamper night thing i can totally make that happen but anyway what is happening today is we're just working on the report there's actually nothing else on my to-do list yeah it's just the report and then i'm also gonna see if i can get some of my rlc stuff done so one of the things i've been working on is this like calendar and stuff because i'm on the events committee wait i'm on the marketing committee and i'm on the events committee so for the marketing we do like calendar for the events i have spent like an hour on this i'm just i don't know i like it a little bit but i think i can do better so yeah but i'll do that after the report so the main points of this report that i'm gonna do today is touch up my introduction we have this section it's called future work which is basically like what would you do what would you add to the project if you had more time and then obviously like the conclusion maybe just go over the appendix obviously i am way above the word count it's actually ridiculous how far beyond the word count i am but it's fine we will also go through and just like chuck out some things that are maybe like unnecessary points or just move them to the appendix because that's what you just gotta do sometimes oh i am already on my second cup of coffee <laughs> So guys, it is 4.40 and I've been working for like an hour and 30 minutes. So I think I'm going to break for lunch. This is a very late time to be having lunch, but being a student, the word count problem hasn't really subsided. <laughs> if anything, I've learned how to talk more, but it's fine. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So I'm still working a little bit on the introduction. So hopefully after I eat lunch, we can do the future work and conclusion and then I can try and cut everything down. <sighs> I am um, exhausted. 
exhausted. I'm actually regretting ending early yesterday. It is quarter past six. I ate a little bit. Yeah, I've just been working. Introduction's finally done. Great. When I'm done, it was like updated. Like I just wasn't happy with it. But now I'm happy with it. Guys, oh my gosh. Okay, here's my thing. I'm thinking because I know what we have to do tomorrow. And tomorrow I have to study. Oh, I don't want to push this stuff back, but I'm honestly exhausted. The problem is I also have to make some figures and diagrams for my report so i was gonna spend the whole day tomorrow doing that but there's actually just two more sections left so i should stop complaining okay we're gonna aim to be done with this at 7 30 it is 18 18 So it is 7.20 and my brain has shut down like I honestly I don't really know what I've been writing for the last hour I don't think it makes any sense I have a feeling we're gonna have to rework it tomorrow but it's fine it's fine it's fine point is I'm done for the day I'm exhausted I will see you guys tomorrow ah <sighs> guys so it is Sunday evening it is 9.50 I finished eating dinner and chilling and all that stuff basically I've been up as usual early did my two cups of coffee did some work but I was just so tired of like the whole time-lapse thing of me doing the same thing We're gonna be here for two weeks people. I was just trying to avoid the unnecessary boring things But anyway, what I've done so far is I'm just adding like figures and diagrams to my report because it's like unnecessary to over explain yourself Whereas if you just like put a diagram then you don't have to use as many words seeing as I'm having issues staying within the word count So for anyone who cares here are just some like examples of diagrams that I've done so like my project incorporates like, similarity and stuff so we have some similarity methods cosine Euclidean distance all that jazz so basically what I just did is I'm using a site called Canva which I'm sure a lot of you guys know about so I just like draw my stuff here and then like I save it and I just pop it into my report this report is not mine this is a previous report that I'm like using as inspo or whatever so yeah so you just kind of like put in your figures and all that jazz Jazz. Also, I spent some time creating like hyperlinks to the different things in my project So I mean if I have a figure and stuff, I'll say figure 2.1 and it will take you to the figure If I say section once again, this is someone else's report, but mine looks the same and works the same So yeah, 2.1 will take you to wherever so yeah, so that's pretty much what I've been working on So my idea earlier was to do like an all-nighter maybe half an all-nighter Yeah, because I wasn't as tired like a few hours ago, but now I'm actually really tired but I think I'm just gonna try and see how much I can get done maybe in the next two hours I just like really want to be done with this I'm already over it I want to be done guys it is 11:48. By the way, thanks for the comment at Zimu Wonder. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me at Shola underscore Moyo. I just posted today. But anyway, I literally did not do as much as I thought I was gonna do in the last two hours, but that's fine. We are now at 5,500 words. I did cut out a lot of stuff in the section I was working on. So I just need to go back, well not go back, go forward and re-examine two chapters, which we'll do tomorrow. So I'm gonna try my hardest to wake up early tomorrow, like 9 am early otherwise we'll see you guys tomorrow hi we all know how i feel about early mornings i woke up at nine o'clock it is now 9 36 so hopefully i'm awake enough to start working i already got my cup of coffee the weather is literally so gloom and dream i don't think you can really pick it up on camera but it is like drizzling and it is gray and it is not cute <laughs> Anyway, I'll catch up with you guys later because as you can see, I can't vlog, I can't speak right now. Oh, guys, 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 guys. My degree may not be over, but I'm over this degree. It is 3 p.m. On the bright side, I have reduced my word count greatly. Okay, so eight, six, five, nine. 
Here we're at 10,896, which is not great per se, but something we can work with. I'm honestly exhausted. I already had my second cup of coffee. Whoever said getting a degree was like something you should do, I'm here to tell you, is a no for me. It's a very strong, hard no. On the right side, we have five more hours in the day. So much more time to get my word count down. Why do I talk so much? Oh, guys, I swear this vlog today is literally just me coming back with check-ins, but I honestly, I need to focus. Like, I don't have time to be vlogging. It is exactly 9 p.m. I have been awake since nine o'clock doing this report i think i've maybe taken like a 20 minute break in between i've literally been staring at this paper for 12 hours my dad read it though and he is pleased with it he thinks it's a good report word count update we're at 14,710, which is way better than what it was before so i just need to cut out like 2,000 words and i'm golden i'm not gonna lie to you i'm just actually i'm just gonna have a real moment here and people better not judge me i thought i had planned things out a lot better i thought i was more organized than I was or maybe I just thought I'd be able to finish things quicker than I was able to. I genuinely didn't think I would be sitting like the night before like panicking but anyway it is what it is. This is gonna be real fun for the next few days because I have my exam on Thursday. Today's Monday. I have not studied since the time that you guys saw me study which means I'm gonna be spending like two days studying for that exam. On the bright side I got my marks back for the same module just the test we wrote and I didn't pretty okay in that test so i'm hoping that the exam can just go smoothly i don't know who told me to go to university but when i figure it out i want to fight them guys it is 3 30 and your girl has submitted her dissertation 12,800 words and 92 pages later and your girl is done i honestly i don't even feel at peace because i have not studied for the exam on the 13th Today is the 11th and I'm so tired. I've never been more done with something in my life. I just can't wait to be done with this thing. 10 more days, guys. Three assignments to go. Let's do it, guys. <laughs>